his supernatural power, but how many know that he's able? He's able and he's willing. All he needs is your permission. So it doesn't matter how awful you've been hurt. God is ready to turn your life around, but you got to let it go. Amen. And he'll give you the power to let it go. Thank you so much, my brother. How you doing? Let's give him a hand. Let's give him a hand. You're doing good. that song for the first time and uh, I believe it was on TV and you were singing it and uh, it was just I mean you just begin to weep it's just amazing what is, what is your response been because I know you've gone all over yes. singing it and what kind of response have you gotten from this song people's lives being changed um, testimonies that I never expected to get mm-hmm. um, a woman came up to me in New York and said my father impregnated me twice He just died, but he never said he was sorry. You know, another young man came up to me in Memphis, Tennessee and says, I was listening when you sang A Heart That Forgives. My son was just murdered, my only son, mistaken identity. But while you were singing the song, God gave me the grace to forgive the man that murdered my son. son. We get testimonies every single day, several times a day. And people's lives have been impacted through the power of forgiveness. You know, it's the key Mm -hmm. to unlocking everything that God promised you, but that's been held up. Mm -hmm. And some of us have been searching, saying, God, what's the hold up? What's the hold up? We've gotten all these prophetic words, but some, somewhere along the way, we got offended Mm -hmm. and then everything shut down. And we don't know why we stopped progressing in the kingdom, but it's because of unforgiveness that's in our hearts. Some of us are sick right now Mm -hmm. because God says, if you regard iniquity within your heart, I can't hear you. So that means even your prayer for healing. Can't even be I can't even hear you because I sent my son. My son forgave you, but you're not willing to forgive the one that hurt you. Wow. So it's the key. It's the key. And that's that's why the enemy fights us so hard. Mm -hmm. He, He tries to you know, make us hold on to offense because he understands that if you, when you let it go, when you, it's freedom. It's freedom and forgiveness. It's, and it's not, it's not a feeling. No. You have to make a choice. That's right. That's and when, a good point. And when you make a choice, he'll back it up with emotions later. That's right. That's you know, right. but you just choose to love. Choose. Love is a choice. That's good. It's That's not necessarily good. emotional. That's good. You know? That's really good. Amen. Because a lot of people feel like if I say I forgive and don't feel it, then I'm a hypocrite and it's not really real. But like you said, this thing is not based on feeling, but it's based on the word of God. And when you choose to do what God tells you to do, then he's obligated to bless you. And the floodgates will open up. The floodgates will open up. Wow. wow. So, so you wrote this song. I did. And I don't, I don't even know if I want to ask you what you were going through when you wrote it. God just gave it to you. No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, I mean, it was, it was I, you know, they asked me that question a lot. You know, mm-hmm. Kevin, what specific instance was it? But it, there was a season in my life where uh, disappointment, broken heart. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, people, when they saw you, didn't, somebody took advantage yeah, of me. Yeah. In the world and in the kingdom, mm-hmm. you know, when you, don't, when, you ha- when you don't have it, and they take it from you. Mm. It's real tough, you know, you, and, and you can become disenfranchised and, and really just, I put confidence in somebody I guess I shouldn't put confidence That's in. Right. That's right. But God gave me the grace. But I got to tell you, it wasn't an overnight thing. Mm. And I think I, I want people to understand that. Mm-hmm. That I, about a year ago, he was, Lord was still showing me, Kevin, you need to forgive that person. Mm. I said, God, I didn't know. I'm it sorry. There, right? I had to make some phone calls and say, hey, I just want you to know it's all I good. I love you. I forgive you. And they're like, huh? I said, well, I, and I started to share, you know, and, but it's a cleansing. It's like David. David yeah. had a heart after God. I think mm-hmm. we have to always, we have to be careful. Right. He says, keep your heart with all diligence for out right. of it flow the issues of life. Right. Every day, God, is there anything? Has anybody offended me? Have I offended anyone right. with, a, with a spirit of humility? Because I want to be pleasing. Right, right. And it's not, it's not always the, uh, it's not always the big sin per se, That's right. but it's the sins no. of our hearts. It's no. those iniquities. You know, we're looking at the world and we're looking at the people that a lot of young people may be going after right now. Mm-hmm. And it's so sad because some of them are going to get saved in that last hour. Mm-hmm. And here we are in church all our lives and we're going to miss the kingdom because we're upset and anger, angry and bitter. Mm-hmm. And, and my heart, my heart. 
my heart weeps mm. for the body of Christ right. because we're ineffective because of unforgiveness. unforgiveness. We won't love one another. Love Our other. churches aren't growing like they could be growing because we won't connect with people right down the street. Right, right, right down the street. Too much division. It's too much. Too much division, and God can't bless division. But like you said, you know, I tell people, you know, when I go and speak, it's, it's a shame to go to church all your life to go to hell. Yeah. You might as well party, party if you're hey, going to go to hey. hell. I mean... Hey, but the scripture tells us everybody that says, Lord, Lord, God is not going to say come in. He said, I never knew you because of iniquity, yes, because of iniquity. And so the, like you're saying, every day we have to examine ourselves. Yes. You know, have I offended anybody? And why is that the hardest thing to say? I'm sorry. Everybody practice. Just say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not. Right? It's not. And we would just humble ourselves and say, I'm sorry. Forgive yes. me. Because that's what Christ is all about, yes. you know, yes. love and forgiveness. And like you said, if we can't love one another, why, why would the world want to be saved if they can't look at the church and see love? By this shall all men know By this. that you are my disciples. Jesus said this, if you have love for one another, you won't have to tote your Bible at work. Mm -hmm. You won't have to have a bumper sticker that says, I love Jesus. They will know by the love. You won't have to wear a cross on your neck, yay mm -hmm. big. If you love the unlovable. Yeah, if come you, on. The seemingly unlovable. The seemingly. If you love the boss that maybe takes advantage of people, mm -hmm. but you never engage in um, degrading him in private. Mm -hmm. You always steal away when they get to talking about them. Mm -hmm. You always show respect. Thanks. You always show love. Right. It's something about that. It's something. They about see that, that right. and that's right. Jesus. Right, and that's Jesus. And, and talking about the young, younger generation, they see it too. Yes, they do. The kids that feel like they've been pushed aside and they're not worthy of another yes. chance. When they see love and when they hear love and when they feel love, you know, it changes their lives. It does. And, and I got to say this. The most difficult thing sometimes it is to forgive yourself. Yes. That's good. Yes. And God is saying, listen, I need you to let you off the hook. Yes, because I forgave you a long time ago. I forgave you a long, long time ago. Yes, Lord. It's time to let you off the hook. And some people, you know, they've been kind of, they've been relishing in it because... And the enemy, you can open yourself up for manipulation because God forgave you, but they won't. Right. It's okay if they don't forgive you if you ask them for forgiveness. Right. Once right. God has forgiven you, the slate is clean as if it never took place. And you can be free in Jesus' name and walk with your head held high. The blood of Jesus has washed it. Amen. Amen. Why don't you pray for, for our young Amen. people today, those who feel like that, you know, I've messed up too many times. Absolutely. You know, like you said, they haven't let themselves off the hook. Mm -hmm. Just remind them who they are and whose they are and, and pray for them. God has so much in store for you. Your life is so not over. Father, we just thank you right now for the comeback. There are people, Lord God, that like Ezekiel in the Valley of Dry Bones, Lord God, their lives seem dry. They seem like nothing's going to ever be able to happen to bring them back from this destruction. But you're the God that heals. You're the God that mends broken hearts. We pray right now for those bones, those dry bones all around the world, not just our country. In Jesus' name, we pray your healing. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This, this incredible song um, that God gave you, uh, you have a, com a campaign. It's called the it's Forgive and Live campaign. Forgive and Live campaign. Yes, tell, tell me about it. Tell us about it. Share it. This campaign is to inspire one million acts of forgiveness. One million, one million acts, acts of, forgiveness. of forgiveness. Okay. They can go to forgiveandlivetoday.org. And so we're traveling to every single state between now and July 4th, 2011. And we're going to be going into the streets, the subways. We're going to be in concert halls and churches. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You're going every single state. Every single state in our country. In our country. Between now, now and, and July 4th, 2011. And in 2011, we're going to meet back in D.C. and have a big celebration over one million acts okay, of forgiveness. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. I know y'all excited. I need to get the detail. Okay, so what are you doing in every state that you go to? We're going 
in churches. We're going in the, on the metros. I'm going to take my guitar player, and it'll be just me and him. And we're going to go, and we're going to sing the song, A Heart That Forgives. And I'm going to have some people with video cameras to take the testimonies so people can see how people's lives are being changed. That is That's right. We're going to set it up where, where they can text. I let it go to a number. They can go to the site, and we'll, we'll let them know. They're going to be able to text it. We're going to have cards. If you go to the site now, you can actually, if you, if you decide that you want to forgive someone, we have e-cards. You can Wait a email. When I decide, y'all are gonna forgive Amen. them. Y'all gonna forgive Amen. them tonight. Okay, keep going. We have we have several e cards on the site, and people can, you know, choose which one is applicable for their situation, and email a person that they haven't talked to in years. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's time for reconciliation yes, in the body of Christ. That's what Jesus is about. Reconciliation. The goal is one million. Oh, now see, I, they told me to say one million, but you know I'm going for like a hundred. I already a know. Billion, I, <laughs> because you know what? One person can have like a, a hundred themselves. <laughs> oh, so it's just not one forgiveness per person. No, we we want one million now. Because if you need to forgive mama we, and auntie, we cleaning and house. We cleaning All house. The gotta go. Everybody. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think that is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, then, then tell us about the celebration. You said after the year, you're going to go to Washington. We're, after the year, we're going to have a huge celebration. We're going to bring in artists and actors and actresses. And we, we're going to have, a, I mean, worship leaders, can everybody. I come? You absolutely can come. <laughs> absolutely can come. Okay, and so you're going to have a night of celebration where we're singing and we're, just where We're singing, God. we're worshiping, and we're thanking God for the acts of forgiveness that were raised around the world. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that amazing? Come on, everybody. Put your hands together. That is awesome. Now, you know, some things you know God, make God smile. And I know he is smiling about yeah, that. Yeah. That is amazing. Would you sing another song for us? Absolutely. Just one more, um, at least? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here I am. Here I am. Standing in the need of prayer. Praise God. Did you write this one, too? 